In the last lecture, we did the load line analysis of PN junction diode. In this lecture, we will solve one numerical problem. We have to determine the Q point. Q point is the operating point, is the operating point of the diode and VR is the voltage drop across the resistor. This is the given circuit and this is the given characteristics. And when you look at the characteristics, you will find 0.8 volt is the barrier potential. VB is equal to 0.8 volts and by using these characteristics and the load line obtained from this circuit we have to calculate operating point and VR. In this circuit 10 volt is the external voltage source so capital V is equal to 10 volts and 1 kilo ohm is the value of load resistance so RL is equal to 1 kilo ohms ID is the current through the diode and VD is the voltage across the diode and we have to find Q point we have to find Q point and VR voltage across the diode we can easily calculate VR once we have ID so we will first find out Q point then we will find out VR I will use KVL Kirchhoff's voltage law and we have 10 minus 10 minus 1 into 10 raised to power 3 ID minus VD equals to 0 this is what we have from KVL and if I rearrange this this will give me 10 equals to 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 ID plus VD now I want to calculate ID when VD is equal to 0 so we will find out ID when VD is equal to 0 so we have 10 equals to 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 ID plus 0 and ID is simply equal to 10 milliamps so this is the value of ID when VD is equal to 0 and now we will find out VD when ID is equal to 0 so when ID is equal to 0 we have 10 equals to 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 multiplied by 0 plus VD so simply simply VD is equal to 10 now we have VD when ID is equal to 0 and ID when VD is equal to 0 by using this we can easily draw the load line in this plot X axis is for VD voltage across the diode and Y axis is for ID current through the diode and when VD is equal to 0 ID is equal to 10 milliamps this is in milliamps so when VD is 0 ID is equal to 10 milliamps this is the point and uh, when ID is equal to 0 VD is equal to 10 so when ID is equal to 0 VD is equal to 10 and we can easily plot we can easily plot the load line like this this is the load line and this is the diode response diode response and now we can easily find out the Q point the operating point this is the intersection and this is the Q point and uh, if you see VD is equal to 0 0.8 VD is equal to 0 0.8 and ID ID is equal to 9.2 9.2 so the coordinates for operating point coordinates for operating point IDQ IDQ and VDQ are equal to 9.2 and 0 0.8 so this is the answer now we will move to the second part that is the calculation of voltage drop across the resistor and we have the current flowing through the circuit that is 9.2 milliamps and don't confuse yourself with ID and IDQ IDQ is just the representation for the Q point it is nothing but the ID the current flowing through the diode and it is equal to 9.2 we can easily find out voltage drop across this resistor VR from Ohm's law VR is equal to ID RL ID is equal to 9.2 milliamps so 9.2 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 3 multiplied by RL RL is equal to 1 kilo ohms so 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 so finally we have 9.2 volts as the answer this is how you have to find out the operating point using the VI characteristics of the diode 
and the load line and once you have the operating point you know the operating current and by using the operating current you can easily find out voltage across the resistor. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.